let's get into this Michigan game though, because you got a lot of different reactions to it, Devin. And and I love getting your perspective, not just as a quarterback, but as a player. Yeah. That you have as faced. As a person. And as a person. I'm but, a person. But particularly being on the sideline, having to deal with different kinds of adversity and, and come back from it. And, and to have others on the team come back from it. And this was a unique kind of adversity that this squad dealt with during the game on Saturday. And it took them a minute to get their bearings. Yeah, I mean, so I, I think Saturday was an example and proof that, you know, no matter what you fans or anybody may think, these are humans on the field. All right, these are humans on the field. And, and this is a very good reason why I don't bet money on games. You don't know who's going to have girlfriend troubles or whatever. These are human things that these super athletes have to deal with that are kind of ignored, right? You know, they have those in-life problems that you expect them to get rid of, but it's tough. And, and and this one was so unique and I can only compare it to, I remember when I was a, I was a, I was a senior in high school, you might've been at this game, Southgate Anderson. Um, it was a playoff game before we played De La Salle my senior year. And we're in the game and I'm, I'm doing my thing. You know how we get down. <laughs> I think we scored like 30 in the first half or whatever. You know what I mean? I'm just getting down. I'm like, y'all don't have a chance. Like, we're going to put 65 because we had scored 50, 50, 52. And, and we, we're going again because, you know, that's the year nobody wanted to play us. So we had to play all those role games. We're going to get after y'all. Y'all got to see us in these playoffs. You know what I mean? And so I'm, I'm getting down on those guys. And I'm running, I'm running, and then I hit a kid. Uh, well, he tries to tackle me, but, you know, <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Get out of the way. And so he hit me, and, he, and, and his body just goes limp, right? Hits his head on the ground, right? And so as much of a killer as I am, I, you know, I'm, I'm a person. I'm a human. I, I'm, like, nice. I'm kind of a nice guy. People think I'm so mean, but I'm actually very, very nice. I just, you know, tell the truth quite often. So he he lays out, and then it's like a, almost an hour delay. The the, mm -hmm. the ambulance comes on. The parents are his parents, his sisters. Every they're on the field crying. They carry this kid off on the stretcher. Right. I don't think I scored enough touchdown the rest of the game. And I remember having a two point conversion where I ran it in, and I just kind of like I like tried almost not to score. I felt like you know what I mean, but it's just like I couldn't. Like my body's going to score, but it didn't feel good. Right. I just felt awful. Because, like, even though I know it's a violent sport, you never want to hurt somebody so seriously with the family and all these care and all, right? And so take that for all the way into the next week. I was struggling at practice. I was struggling at school. I was going to Coach Carter. You can call Coach Carter. Next. I'm in his office every day. Is that kid okay? Like, I need to know something. I can't fit function my life without knowing that, you know, whatever. So Coach Carter calling him and not really getting a response, whatever, whatever. I, and it was later in the week, and I hadn't practiced much or effectively. Mm -hmm. and. <laughs> They finally call back. He's like, no, no, he's fine. He's at wrestling practice. And so, first of all, I was serious. Because mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm, like, stressed out. I'm like, whatever. This kid's just perfectly fine. He was just soft, right? But the feeling that I felt as a human, like, knowing that something could be seriously wrong with somebody was devastating. And I didn't practice well or anything. Like, and then so we go into do the sal, and it's a dog fight, mm -hmm. right? Because I just I, – I'm not in the groove. I'm not – you know what I mean? Just because I hadn't – I, I was so devastated about what had happened. So let's let's take this to this game. You got a bunch of kids, and not only the kids, the friends of a man, right? The coaching staff, they are close-knit coaching staff, and, and Mike Hart is a, a, a great guy. Like, everybody loves Mike Hart, you know what I mean? And so you got newer coordinators. You got offensive linemen. You got running backs and, and a quarterback who has made it very clear that he's an intentional, loving kind of guy, you know what I mean? Watch. A man, just nothing, a healthy man. Watch a healthy man who they love and they admire, I would imagine, right? Mm -hmm. Mike Hart, University of Michigan, I don't know if you guys know or not, but, you know, kind of royalty. They watch him just fall and get carried off on a stretcher in the middle of a game. <laughs> and people, what's wrong with Michigan? I, you know, I'm the ultimate competitor. I love sports. I love, I, I, I'm a fire-breathing dragon, but come on, guys. And, and, you know, even I was on the train of like, hey, they're not kids anymore. They're getting paid. But they're still emotionally 19 and 20, 21. And to watch a, a, a comrade or a coach, a, a leader, a brother or whoever, however they look at it, however each individual player looks at them, someone they love, be carried off on a stretcher like that is is I couldn't imagine. 
and, and this is a stranger that it happened, an opponent and a stranger when it happened to me as a high school kid. Mm-hmm. This is a friend, a brother. Uh, they've eaten the food off of his table. They, they, he. I'm sure they dealt with a lot of outside of football things, and that he's helped them through. And you got Blake Quorum and and just bawling in tears, and and it was just like wow. And then you watch the game. After the first drive where they absolutely dominated them all the way down the field, right? You watch, it's like, man, it's something wrong. Come on. Mm-hmm. This just don't happen. Come on. We, we can't run the ball at all, Indiana. I mean, I don't know how great the defense is. I haven't seen Indiana this year. But we can't run the ball at all, right? We can't we can't protect as good. You know what I mean? And then you go and have time, right? Everybody, everybody, everything's calming down. They get a message from Mike. I'm okay. Don't worry about me, blah, blah. And you and you come out in the second half and you start to see Michigan football. You start to see, oh, okay, they're back. Mm-hmm. Okay, they're fine. Okay, they're gonna roll. And it's so funny. I was sitting in the control room before my game watching because I had I didn't know about the Mike Hart thing. I watched it without sound. I'm just like, what is going on? But I never jumped the conclusion of like they're playing bad. I was like, something is wrong. Mm-hmm. I, something has to be wrong. There's nothing. There ain't no way that Mike Hart. I mean, not Mike Hart. It's little Mike Hart with speed. <laughs> Mike Hart with great speed. Ain't no way Blake Corm. <laughs> Is just bumping in the back line, man. Yeah, man. All kind of stuff. I'm like, come on, man. Yeah, you watch. I think there I watched Donovan. An explanation for they, this. They and ran I, like a counter, and he he left the blockers and cut yeah, up the whatever counter. Whatever the case may be, right? Pass. I don't give mm-hmm. out passes all much. Pass. Second half, they come out, and so when I'm in the control room, after I found that out, I said, "Oh, they gonna come out in the second half and roll them." And I went and got dressed and got down, and get ready for my game. I'm done with this. I don't need to watch this no more. They gonna get down on the second half, and then. I, I, they, I watched the, the coaches copy everything, and I'm like, this is good football they played in the second half, man. How about Ronnie Bell? Mm, mm, mm. Welcome. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Ooh, that boy's good. He's good. He's good. I'm proud of you, man. Oh, that man, it was good. But I just man. want everybody to just <laughs> – that's what everybody to relax. Like, and, and, and take your Michigan football cap off. See, I didn't wear a hat today. Like, take your Michigan football cap off and, and everybody put your human hat on. And you can still have – you can put – maybe put it on top of the Michigan cap, right? Because Michigan football was in full on full display in the second half. And it was yet another opportunity for this team to fight through an adverse situation, right, in a quarterback to corral the truth, right? We, we were kind of waiting. When is he going to throw the ball to win the game? Well, 30 yards passing, three touchdowns, right? This young fella – Kind of corralled everybody, and I'm I'm sure he spoke in the locker room, maybe not publicly in the locker room, but in, in individually to the players, and got everybody going. And and that was I'm sure that was what happened. And and you come out and you see them play the way they did. It was it was good to see because that's something that's something real that a lot of people can't understand. They can't empathize with because and, and obviously we know empathy. S- some people can't empathize because they first of all they've never been in sport. Secondly, they've never had something like that happen to them while they're at their job. Mm-hmm. So let's put it in perspective. Be at your job during your presentation and watch one of your t- teammates that are in your presentation or working with you that are kind of helping you with that presentation pass out. All right. And then give that presentation exactly how you were going to give it, however great or however bad. Give that presentation the same way. After all the he your, your person, whether it's a male or female, gets carried off on a stretcher and, and everybody's in disarray, then give that that presentation just as effectively as you would have. And, and that could be the perspective for everyone at home. But um, yeah, I think it was a good, I think it was a really good showing. 